Hello and welcome to our first vlog. This is Adam and right now we are on our way from Prague to Barcelona. And on the way, we'll show you various uh, stuff. Uh, actually, we got this car. This is not Adam's car, but he got it as a gift. He doesn't talk much. But on the way to Barcelona, we stopped at Pilsen yesterday for a presentation of Adam and Honza. Check it out. Before I head out to my road trip with my friend Adam, Honza is gonna speak here in front of this whole crowd. I'm really nervous, actually. Still on the road and we're going are here. According to Adam, this is one of the top five places for architects to visit uh, by Le Corbusier. We are in the city of Besançon. So I booked a hotel room in the car, just discovering a new city. So tomorrow our plan is to head out further west and tomorrow's highlight will be another building built by Le Corbusier. Le Corbusier. So what is it? Guerrilla knitting? Guerrilla knitting. So after you're done with guerrilla gardening, you do guerrilla knitting. So we booked this hotel in Besançon, which is really cool actually. Is there a mini bar at this hotel? So he just discovered it. Yes, there is. That's what we have. <laughs> so this is day two of our travels. We're in the city called Dole. Stairway to heaven not been used. It's very, very beautiful here. And guess what's the name of the pub? It's Local. Oh look, I think that says Passage. Let's see what's there. What's our next stop? Oyster Maturette by Le Corbusier. Another building by Le Corbusier. <laughs> Lovely. So this road trip is changing into an architecture education uh, from Adam once again. Building by um, Swiss architect Le Corbusier. what we're in another city and after visiting two buildings churches built by Le Corbusier I told Adam dude I'm like I've seen enough of him and Adam said yeah well there's one more so after only chasing buildings by Corbusier Adam finally took me out to the field you know here in the beautiful nature with a building from Corbusier And the idea is that people can only live in the building and never leave it. Yeah? Mm, okay. It would almost look like, like we're not friends on the videos because he never talks to me. He just goes, hmm, and leaves. We're staying at this lovely hotel in a city called... Room is cool, but check out this staircase. Whoa. We're planning our trip and I really, really want to see Andorra because it's a state I've never been to. So Andorra tomorrow? Andorra tomorrow. Yes. So we're eating our breakfast.
So our next destination is a bridge built by Eiffel, driving through some very nice parts. This is better than the Eiffel Tower. So Adam, what was Eiffel important for? It was working with steel structure, with very fragile structure. So it's actually like, you know, this kind of super modern bridge, like doing this huge span over this valley out of steel. There you can see out of stone, so you could see how that would be, how massive and how difficult. And now suddenly new material, steel and beautiful. Our next stop is once again, architectural architecture. Check it out, even better bridge than by Eiffel. Norman Foster, boom. This is Viaduct Milau, the tallest bridge in Europe. random stop in a city but check it out So what did the sign say when we entered the village? The most beautiful village in France. Well... This guy is hard to impress, but he seems to be very impressed. <laughs> Look at you being impressed. Just for a minute. And guess what? Our next stop is another um, another bridge. <laughs> and as you know, Adam wanted a better look at the bridge, so we're looking for a better spot to take a picture of the bridge. Pomalu, 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 pomalu. Well, it looks like we're not gonna make it. Problem is, we need to back up. That's gonna suck. Well, some ideas are good, some are bad. This was a really bad one. We have to say, and this is not because Saad gave us the car, that it absolutely managed it. Look at that, I just put it in this, and it was fun. <laughs> and the first time on our trip, we see Barcelona. And tonight, we are gonna sleep Andorra. Andorra, so I'm just uh, googling information about Andorra. While reading about Andorra, we found out that it's not in the European Union, which we did not know, and I do not have my passport, but according to the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Czech Republic, they say that, you know, usually they let you in just on my ID, but they recommend you having a passport. So, Janek is not able to get in, and he's gonna stay on the on border. The border. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna tell him later how it is inside. <laughs> Shit. I wanna go to Andorra, Andorra, Andorra. I wanna go to Andorra, it's a land that I adore. They spent four dollars and ninety cents on armaments and their defense. Did you ever hear such confidence, Andorra? Hippura. Need anything to get to Andorra? No, you do not need anything. The guy just waved us to go through. And we are 2,000 meters above sea level and we're gonna look for our hotel. And it is absolutely beautiful here. So Adam just said, well, there's two bad, two, two bad news. Mm -hmm. the, bar, the bar is open only till 11, and the only draft beer they have is the worst beer in the world, <laughs> Heineken. This is day three of our travels. We are 
2,500 meters above the sea level in Andorra. There's snow everywhere. Highest peak, 2,408 meters, and now we're going down with amazing views of Andorra. Check it out. <laughs> there were only 120 kilometers from Barcelona, and we're only gonna be there for a day, and then we're gonna drive back. Te quiero. So we're here, we made it. Adam dressed up with I Love New York t-shirt. And that's the end of our lovely vlog because, yeah, well, we may show something from our phone. And there will be the way back. Now I have to edit this. Like, final message. Yeah. Come by airplane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beer. Bye.